This content is based on a telepathic communication between the Ninth Density Collective of Ra and their conduit, Joe. Welcome to the Book of Ashtara. In this video, we'll delve into the process of deliberate and conscious creating. Each human is connected to a soul fragment, a vibrating orb of light that connects players with their mother soul or higher being. The player is simply a temporary avatar, container, vessel or bodysuit housing consciousness. Life in the physical realms 1 to 4 is a limiting experience for soul fragments or players due to the challenges of connecting with one's higher being within the constraints of dense physicality. On third density earth, humans find themselves held back by both their soul contract and the veil of amnesia. Only a select few avatars successfully recall their origin and past lives, as the intentionally thick veil poses a strong barrier. Some individuals are born with a greater, more direct connection to their mother soul. Today they are often called light workers. In earlier eras they were referred to as prophets, oracles, witches, druids, shamans, to mention a few. In reality, many of them are ascended masters returning for a distinct purpose. Expanded consciousness typically becomes available to humans through meditation and spiritual practices. Understanding and healing emotional, karmic, generational and incarnational wounds contribute to spiritual maturity and an elevated level of consciousness. Those born with a thin veil may perceive this gift as a curse, experiencing a sense of isolation. Without assertiveness and a strong spirit, they may reject the spirit world altogether. Many ascended masters from Ra turn away from their mission due to the confusion and challenges that greater awareness causes. Even masters are not born with a manual explaining the secrets of life. It's crucial to remember that amnesia serves a purpose. It's an intrinsic part of the universal matrix fostering significant soul growth. Amnesia is part of the package that fractals of source energy need to accept upon enrolling as students at the University of Eon. The tutor fee payable involves temporarily surrendering absolute freedom to partake in the game of creation. How would you market Eon to fractals of light navigating the vast void between dimensions or universes? Picture this, a prominent billboard along the main highway just before the exit to Eon with the text, would you like to forget? that you are God. Ever wondered what your thoughts feel like when manifested in a physical avatar? Fancy creating your own physical experience and living your dream. Choose Eon. That billboard summarizes the essence of this universe. It is important to remember that fractals of source energy exist in an endless stream of consciousness. They are looking for experiences, and the allure of feelings and the temptation of physicality are captivating concepts. Merge the two, and most fractals are hooked. Mother souls joyously take up a seat at the University of Eon due to the uniqueness of the curriculum it offers. 
Every human is connected to a mother soul residing in the light heavens. You possess only one mother soul or higher being, yet your mother soul has many versions of you. Your higher being has created numerous fragments of itself, each intricately linked to various forms of physicality and several avatars in both the physical densities 1 to 4 and semi-physical realms 5 to 8. Adding to the complexity, envision the concept of timelines, which emerge with every decision made by avatars. This quite confusing myriad of physical experiences makes it challenging to visualize life. We are talking about a multifaceted, multidimensional soul tree, a truly extraordinary creation. The connection between a mother soul and a human being is facilitated through a soul fragment, a radiant orb of light that bridges the physical and semi-physical densities with the light heavens. This connection has by some been described as a silver string, linking a soul with a human. However, silver is essentially a metaphor for light. From our ninth density perspective, there is a need to consider timelines when discussing the nature of soul fragments. Timelines are formed with each decision a player makes, which holds the potential to shape the outcome of the entire game. Each human frequently gives birth to new timelines existing parallel to their ongoing life expanding the holographic nature of the game. To facilitate this, a soul fragment creates offshoots resembling silver threads. Visualize this as an orb of light with several offshoots connecting to each timeline akin to different versions of you. When an avatar dies, all timelines converge at a point called the singularity. The offshoots are drawn back into the orb, preparing for the next incarnation. Information from all timelines or parallel lives lived, then merges into one united folder. The mother soul rarely focuses on one timeline alone, but analyzes all versions of you existing on multiple timelines. The purpose of sharing this information, despite its intricacy, is to provide hope. Many individuals grapple with regret, spending sleepless nights reflecting on what life might have been if certain decisions were made differently. What if you had accepted that offered position? What would have occurred if you had stayed single at the age of 20? What if you hadn't moved to that city or country? What if you refrained from saying certain things? We recognize that each person carries burdens of guilt and remorse. We're not here to advise you to dismiss the significance of life. Instead, our aim is to alleviate your concerns. Your mother souls have a clear picture of life on any path open to you. Rather than fixating on what could have been, redirect your attention to the decisions you need to make today. We provide this detailed information to encourage and guide you towards intentional and joyful creation. There's no need to restrain yourself or live in fear of outcomes. If you feel inspired to take action and have dreams to manifest, embrace them. The purpose of your incarnation is to create your own reality and live your dreams. Understanding timelines, it's acknowledged 
that mistakes may occur, but another version of yourself did the right thing. Never give up, learn and keep trying. Success will come. When reflecting on your life, recognize that the vastness of your experiences extends beyond what you can access directly. If you ever feel like a loser, understand that you are a winner. If trapped in fear, know that you have lived in love. Even if you haven't achieved certain goals, recognize that you have in other timelines. Therefore, don't let fear hold you back. Embrace life and let it unfold. You're part of a game designed to be joyous and inspiring. From our ninth density perspective, it is. But we acknowledge the limited view that one version of a player holds in the third density. Amnesia exists for a reason. Access to all timelines would be overwhelming. Only your mother's soul has the bandwidth to understand timelines. Think of this as a computer. You, as a player, have the processor of a mobile phone, whereas your mother's soul sorts true data with the power of a quantum computer. Soul fragments commence their journey in Eon within the densest of places, beginning at the first density where they interact with other fragments, becoming integral parts of elementary particles that unite to form gases, stars and planets. As these fragments progress through their densities, reaching for the eighth density in order to eventually merge with their mother soul in the ninth, they undergo countless lives embodying the fundamental elements of fire, earth, air and water, manifesting in a multitude of combinations. These soul fragments have also experienced existence as vegetation, dwelling in water, on soil, in the air and even within fire. Moreover, they have lived diverse lives within the expansive spectrum of the animal kingdom, encompassing all living beings across the universe. It's essential to note that within Eon, everything is consciousness and alive. A human being or a tree is no more alive than a rock, as all entities possess inherent consciousness and vitality. When soul fragments begin recalling their origin, their avatars also recollect. However, soul fragments generally do not remember their earlier incarnations until they graduate from the fourth realm. In the semi-physical fifth density, where the veil is considerably thinner, fragments vividly recall three to five earlier incarnations. It's important to note that this recollection of past life memories is always secondary, ensuring it doesn't excessively disrupt their ongoing life, which remains their primary focus. When incarnating into an avatar on the third density, the soul fragment needs to penetrate the veil to connect to the container or bodysuit. Think of this as the soul fragment residing inside the veil, fully affected by the limitations of the matrix. This creates a one-way road where information only flows outward meaning a mother soul or higher being has full access to the data gathered by each player. However, access inward is limited, causing the players to feel isolated behind the veil. One way to describe this is through an analogy of hardware restrictions. The bodysuit, like an old computer with a slow router, cannot make sense of the higher realms, 
it's simply too advanced. The only way to establish two-way communication is through meditation or spiritual practices. What takes place then is akin to a software upgrade of an old computer. The player writes new code using quantum language. The avatar or the computer is of lesser importance. You are not the computer, but the software. Awakening involves learning how coding works and then writing your own individual software to communicate with your higher being. With further expansion, you realize you need no computer or bodysuit at all. You realize that you are the ones and zeros in a binary world of potentials within a holographic reality that continues expanding for eternity. You are a player swimming in an ocean of liquid light, and with heightened sensory abilities and a clear mind, you control the environment through intent and desire. You become consciousness and exists outside of holographic limitations. Until next video, breathe out all worries. Then breathe in a brighter future for mankind.